Good morning and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Puma ST Line X walk around video. But before we do begin with the walk around, may I just say thank you to the 950 YouTube subscribers. And if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed, can I recommend clicking that subscribe button and that way you'll be in tune with all of our latest content. So this vehicle here is a magnetic grey Ford Puma ST Line X MHEV. So it is a mild hybrid electrical vehicle. So what that, that means for you is there's no plugging in, there's no waiting for it to charge. You simply jump in it and get some very good MPG out the back of it. And that is partly thanks to the 1 litre EcoBoost engine producing 125 PS of power. And that then is transmitted through a 7 speed automatic gearbox. The Puma is registered on a 2023 registration, meaning we're going to be taking Ford warranty with us until March 2026. The vehicle itself is on just over 6,350 miles, but like always, I get the exact number once on the dash in a moment. So, like all of our videos, the first port of call is to the near side front bumper, and I present to you the beautiful remote central locking key in all of its beauty. I shall be using this a few times in this walk around video, um, so I thought I'd display it to you now. Clicking the unlock button in turn is going to wake up the daytime running lamps. They give you the ultimate visibility, so you're always going to be seen by other road users, no matter the lighting condition. A quick disclaimer, if they do appear to be flashing in your video currently, that is simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. So in there are some beautiful LED headlights, and moving south we have LED front fog lights, and we have front parking sensors that trail themselves all the way around that front lip of the bumper. This vehicle is fitted with a beautiful driver assistance pack. So underneath the number plate there, that little dull blacky bit, is a front-facing radar responsible for some of the driver assistance packs, such as pre-collision assist. I shall cover that in its entirety once we're inside the vehicle in a moment. Moving ourselves around now, let's have a look at these beautiful machine-cut alloy wheels. I'll just get down to it like so give you a good look so these are 19 inches in diameter and they are fitted with Goodyear tires as standard and again doing such low mileage they're in marvelous condition so machine cut alloy gives you the silver shiny face with the in this case matte black here just in between being the ST line X we do have the beautiful silver painted brake calipers there also so now I'm going to just draw your attention north because on in the windscreen we have a few bits of spec to talk about. We have a sensor just there which is a light sensor responsible for the automated lights. So as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, your lights are going to come on automatically. Further north we have that long one at the top there which is a traffic speed sign camera. So this then can be used in a coordination with the intelligent speed limiter, meaning if you go past a varying speed sign, your limiter will change automatically based on the speed sign red. To the left hand side we have a rain sensing uh, rain sensor for the rain sensing wipers and to the right hand side we have a light sensor for the automated headlights. Back down to the body of the vehicle now. So I'm going to show you another bit of spec. So again, remote central lock in, lock the vehicle and pop that in my pocket. Taking the camera to half zoom because on the door handle we have those four beautiful lines for keyless entry. Tap behind the door handle, unlocks the vehicle and a tap on those door handles or the lines even locks the vehicle so if i was just to unlock the vehicle very quickly we have power folding and heated door mirrors and also as part of the driver assistance pack we have those beautiful little blind spot assist monitors they will illuminate orange if someone was in your blind spot either on the near side or the off side of the vehicle um, further north panoramic glass opening roof um, so yeah that opens up and lets an abundance of light and fresh air into the vehicle Keyless entry will expire after about 30 seconds, so watch out for those mirrors folding in in a second. At this stage of the video, I take a step back on the offside rear and I get nice and acute to the vehicle and I just gently rock the camera side to side, hopefully displaying to everybody sat at home or wherever you might be watching this video how beautiful all the body panels are. Like so, looks very clean condition this one. Like all of our vehicles here at Perkins, they're all immaculate. So not forgetting the offside rear wheel, so just give you a good look at that as well. I'm really a big fan of these low profile ST line wheels. So, uh, a little mechanics lesson for you. This Puma is fitted with rear drum brakes. Rear drums are ultra efficient and ultra low maintenance. I mean, you won't be able to adjust those or spend money on parts for a very long time. So obviously they do get opened up on service, but they are self adjusting. So again, you won't have to replace parts a long time so a vehicle this size and weight and power 
perfect rear braking system. Moving ourselves around the rear bumper, we have rear parking sensors, which are all the way around, which are complemented beautifully with a high-definition reversing camera. Furthermore, this Puma comes with a beautiful black badging kit. Look, so we've got the black Puma badging there. And to the right-hand side, we have the EcoBoost hybrid sticker. Again, that two-way colorway of this vehicle, so the magnetic gray complemented beautifully with the rear privacy glass and the black panoramic roof. So we're gonna give the near side the exact same treatment before going and have a look inside. So again, I'm gonna gently rock the camera down the near side of the body. Hopefully you're displaying its beauty. There we are. So now we can go back round to the near side rear wheel. Give you a good look at that. Again, the matching Goodyear's on every corner here. Now we can follow that all the way down to the near side front and give you a good look at that. Again, the silver painted brake calipers. Uh, they are lovely, aren't they? So beautiful, so lovely 19 inch alloy wheels there. And don't forget, we have keyless entry on both front doors so you can gain entry from either side of the vehicle right that's the exterior done two clicks on the remote central locking boot function will wake up the power tailgate so that's a hands-free system and we have the button on the right hand side of the boot sill to shut it once more now the, the boot in the puma is rather impressive so let me start off by saying about this multi-height design so in its highest position there that alleviates the gap between the boot liner so basically you don't have to bend down as far to load the boot obviously that does reduce the volume at the top but increases the volume at the bottom so very clever design if you would like to maximize the volume put the boot liner down like that and it increases the volume underneath the boot liner like so underneath this cover is a space saver spare wheel so all relevant tools and jacks are supplied underneath so that's always going to be available to get you out of trouble if you had a puncher so some people still love spare wheels and it's beautiful and you've still got a nice amount of storage above that this is called the ford mega box in the puma so this is additional storage space um, some of them have a little bathtub with a drain plug at the bottom but this one luckily has the spare wheel in it in addition we also have a 12 volt socket to the right hand side so perfect for cool boxes power packs and things such as that tornio cover is built in to the rear window so as you open and shut the tailgate that automatically closes again one tap on the button and that shuts up the tailgate moving ourselves around now into the rear of the vehicle so starting on the door cards uh, we've got this lovely hard wearing plastics if you do carry children with sticky fingers chocolate and whatnot so it can be nice and easy just to wipe clean again soft touch synthetic leather on the door uh, on the armrest there four electric windows with an individual switch on the corresponding door card spinning the camera around now like so we can have a look at these beautiful beautiful st line interior so that is a part leather uh, part cloth interior but as you can see you've got some lovely padding on there It'll be nice and durable this leather looks good as new to be honest with you two iso fixing seats appear so we have one on the left hand rear and one again on the right hand rear well, i was just unfortunately i've got my covers all shut up but normally that's a lovely time i don't know why i didn't open it so many apologies but that is a two glass pan roof so you can see we have two individual covers actually it's quite a good point i left it uh, closed you can see a cover on the front and glass on the back so it gives you the split but the front glass section obviously opens as well now into the front of the vehicle on the driver's door card we have the synthetic leather all the way down with the beautiful st line red stitching again soft touch synthetic leather on the armrest leading into the control panel for all all four electric windows folding mirrors we have the child lock for the rear windows interior locking and the electric mirror function is found just there spinning the camera around for the last time to look at some beautiful seats again we've got that beautiful black leather red stitching lovely cloth part in the lower back and base part of the seat these seats are manually adjustable so we have a let me just get the lever out of the way we have a rear tilt we have a height adjustment a front tilt and a forward and backwards is done on the conventional rail underneath i'm just going to jump inside the vehicle now you may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone so please just bear with me for a moment 
do do Okie dokie, hello, we are now inside the vehicle. So I said the exact mileage is 6,343.5. So this is a beautiful digital dashboard. To complement the keyless entry is an engine start stop button. So with your foot on the brake, full focus, one click on the engine start stop button and that will wake up this beautiful digital driver display. So to begin the interior tour, I'm going to be showing you around the screen. So to begin, I'm going to be controlling it whoa, using the return, OK up and down and menu button on the right hand side of the steering wheel. So we are currently in normal drive mode, so that appears to be a lovely dark bluey screen. Being this Puma, we do have wonderful selectable drive modes. So whatever drive mode you pop the vehicle into, for example slippery, it's going to change the ambiance of the screen to match the drive mode. So you've got this lovely, dully, icy blue colour. And then we go trail, for example, we go to a browny green colour. So a big fan of these digital dashboards on these four Pumas. If I was just to go back to normal mode, just show what it's going to be like normally. Wonderful. So, give you a quick tour. Left hand side there we have a coolant temperature sensor. We have a digital speedo. At the bottom, the odometer. We have a gear selector indicator, ambient air temperature, and a digital readout for the fuel gauge with a bar graph to the top right hand side. An RPM gauge features there, which is revolutions per minute, counting the revolutions of the crankshaft, also known as the output power of the engine. In the middle there, we can flick through this menu using the arrows that I have previously referred to. So you have live tyre pressures, fuel economy, again, so we disconnect the batteries often on vehicles when we take them into stock and give them a, the 12 volt a proper good charge. Just think it's good practice. So that obviously when the battery disc gets disconnected, it resets the MPG. So let me assure you, this will do much better than 7 MPG. You're probably looking to bore 50 MPG. Clicking on the menu button will then expand it into different screens. And from there you can select the screen you'd like to see, whether it's different trip computers, traffic sign, hybrid gauge, eco behavior, and tire pressures down into navigation once you're accustomed to this vehicle and got all of your uh, home previous destinations favorites and points of interest programmed into your sync module and it's very easy to set navigation like so down there is your bluetooth connectivity of your phone and i think i missed the audio which refers to the, your uh, your stereo okay so coming out of here just very quickly i'm just going to pop my seat back actually so you're not just seeing just knees Okay, so the right hand side here, again we have all the buttons to control the screen ahead of you and at the bottom we have a voice command button, a pick up, decline and previous and next song function. To the left hand side we have the buttons for the adaptive cruise control and lane centering. So top left is the button to adjust the distance to the vehicle in front, bottom left is the lane centering so it keeps you in the middle of the white lines. We can set our speed plus and minus using the arrows in the middle, standby top right and speed limiter found bottom right. And on the bottom of that cluster is a volume minus, a volume plus, and a mute button. And I said we have the beautiful seven speed automatic gearbox, and we can also control that gearbox using the flappy paddles on either side of the steering wheel. So minus and plus on the left and right hand, respectively. Progressing the video, let's progress the video at 14 minutes odd. Um, we could talk about cup holders too. Sprung tension cup holders, you put your coffee there in the morning, it's not going to go rolling out everywhere. Big fan. Five buttons down there. Mode button to change the drive mode of the vehicle. This one is for the automated stop start on and off. We have one there for your parking sensors. That one will turn off the traction control and that one is your self park assist. I'll come back to that in a minute. Controls for the seven speed automatic gearbox. Very simple, very nicely designed. So foot on the brake unlocks your little paddle at the back there and you can bring it down to the relevant drive position. Left hand side is a 12 volt charging socket and right hand side is a USB A port. This will deliver you about 2.1 amps of charging but that is perfect for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Or I believe we also have another USB C down there as well which is also a data port now. So you can, uh, I'd recommend using that one because then you can pop your wire through there, keep your phone maybe in the cup holder perfectly ready for Apple CarPlay. Uh, just in front of that is a wireless charging pad so if your phone does support wireless phone charging place it down there and it will wirelessly charge your phone. This Puma has fitted the beautiful winter pack so that includes two heated front seats and a heated steering wheel. So the steering wheel is a bit thicker than normal so it's a nice um, diameter to it 
diameter. Either one, girth, nice girth to it. It's nice and thick. Feels really nice to handle. So back down to the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls. Fan speed to the left, temperature rocker to the right, different demists and automatic functions to the left, different flows events in the middle, and air conditioning and recirculation is found to the right hand side. Now let's look up to this beautiful SYNC 3.4 module. So I'm just going to find somewhere that you're not completely drowned in sunshine. There we are. There we are, he says. There we go. Just bear with me. Live video, guys. Live video. Isn't it wonderful? I'm going to try and... There we are. I need a little sun hat for my f my camera. How do you there? Okay, so this here is a SYNC 3.4 module. We can tell that because we've got the dark blue band at the bottom there. Divides beautifully into audio, bottom left, and there we have further sources such as FM, DAB, and Bluetooth audio. Next up is your phone connectivity. This is predominantly for your Bluetooth connectivity. And obviously if you do connect to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, that will supersede this. In the middle is your navigation. A fantastic navigation system to use, I use all the time in my vehicle. So let me give you a quick demo. If you'd like to come to Perkins Garages to look at this Puma, click the search box and you shall need Charlie Mike 776 Sierra Alpha. Click the search box and that will navigate your route straight here to Perkins in no time at all. And don't forget, you can have the directions appear on the screen ahead of you. Next up, I'm going to take you into settings. Uh, this vehicle is fitted with the uprated Bang & Olufsen sound system, b &O sound at the top left, and that includes speakers throughout the whole of the vehicle, the tweak, tweakers at the sides there, I believe it's 10 individual b &O speakers. So if you're into music, this has an incredibly crisp sound system. Furthermore, I'd like to take you into the driver assistance. Uh, so this is the entirety of the driver assistance pack that I mentioned at the start of the video. It includes uh, the adaptive cruise control, the, the intelligent speed limiter, we've got the lane keeping system, pre-collision assist, traffic sign recognition, rear view camera, bliss, which is blind spot assist, wrong way alert, and cross traffic alert. Next up, we're going to take you over to vehicle, because in vehicle we have some other goodies. So, uh, for example, let's start in remote startup. Um, so if you don't know what this is, please download the Ford Pass Connect application to your mobile smartphone. And once you've purchased the vehicle, you can link the two together and take advantage of remote start setup features. Next up, Windows, my favourite, global open and close. Hold the lock button or unlock button and it will drop all the windows and open the pan roof. Uh, next up is wipers. This is referring to your rain sensing wipers. Down now, lighting, auto headlights and a big one that everybody loves is auto folding door mirrors okay out of there once more make sure the radio is turned off if i just click on the parking button this car will quite literally park itself for you that includes a parallel park out a perpendicular park in and a parallel park in so you can use your indicators to dictate which side of the road you require parking on and then if it feels like it can get in the gap it uses the front and rear parking sensors to build an image around the vehicle and uh, quite literally follow the instructions on the screen and it will park itself for you so some fantastic technology if you may struggle with your parallel parking for example so it's a, a nice a nice bit of tech to have um, so in addition just want to have a quick mention to your carplays apple carplay and android auto is compatible on this screen many advantages of that but the main one it keeps your hands off of your phone while you're driving so i would recommend taking full advantage of the voice command features on all smartphones you have a voice assistant so if it's an android you've got google assistant and on iphone you have siri simply click the button on the steering wheel to wake up your voice assistant and from there you can send it a whole range of commands whether you need to send an audible text message, make a phone call, set navigation, play music, it's all done with the tool, which is your voice, which is a very nice feature. In addition to that, there is many applications on your phone that are also compatible on this screen. So again, me being Apple, I get Apple Maps, I get my Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, audio books, and also I can have third party apps such as Google Maps and Waze. So I do have forward navigation, but effectively, because I've got a computer in my pocket, that will open the door to another three types of navigation. Or it might even be more. But yeah, so, a fantastic little design. So that's about it for me today. I think I've covered about everything. Uh, my heated seat is definitely on because I've got a very warm bottom. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button, like the video, and leave us a lovely comment behind, below below definitely below and um, if you did need any more information please give us a call on 01376 550 899 look forward to speaking to you soon goodbye for now